Hello and welcome to a brand new Ticket World. I'm here to show, uh, I got a couple requests uh, in the past and here recently to uh, give a proper demonstration of the uh, Blaze Rod Infinity Loop and how I did it in the past and how to do a compact one, kind of a more proper how-to. So here is a Blaze Rod. Its EMC is 1,536. This one is 765, the powder. When you macerate it, you get five. When you only need two to make one. So you end up with an excess of 1.5, if I'm doing the math right. So let me show you how to make the old model first. Then I'll show you my new compact one. So first we start with the blaze rods themselves. Two, three, four, five. We need a filter to pull that out. Now the reason I use a filter is for control. If I just have a transporter pulling out anything, it pulls out stacks of 64. With this, let's start with five. Now with the filter and all transporter, uh, transporters, this is the front, this is the back, this is in, this is out. So we want it facing this way. Now let's get a numeric tube out. And we want a generator out and a macerator out. Now first, it and this varies, but first I want to feed my generator. Now let's steal a stack from here. Now when you're doing this in the real world and you don't have this or that many blaze rods available, I suggest using a solar panel until you get an excess then set up the generator as such. Covers also come in handy for such. Now next I want to do the macerator, which you want to fill from the top. Also throw down some random junk in this space, otherwise it'll fill both. It'll, it'll just weigh 64 blaze rods, it's just minorly inefficient. Now here let's get a fiber out, oh actually let's throw a bat box up there first. If you hold shift and click, it lets you place items like that. There we go. Now with a macerator, the out is on the left side. So you want to put your filter on the left side here. Oops, I did nothing there. There we go. And actually, if you want to cheat like this, it always places the out opposite of where you are so we want that to pull out stacks of 64 let's have this go back to here and so we have the excess go there now next we need timers you could set it up where you have one timer but in this scenario it doesn't matter too much you can set up two So there, it's pulling out stacks to five, filling up first the generator, then all the excess goes down there. Now this, will, as soon as this reaches 64, we'll pull out the stack and go over there. Now we want to set up a another chest over here, another energy condenser, because once this is going, you'll actually have an excess, of course which is the whole point of this, of uh, EMC. So let's set up, actually first, where's my, here it is, with these pipes right here, the, I mean these tubes, this is a restriction tube, oops, wrong button. This right here equals 5,000 of these normal ones. So if I put this right here, And actually, just to keep this going. So once it passes here, it'll e it has to be 5,000 empty this way before it goes back. So that saves me a little bit of hassle. I can just have it go all the way back here. Now all the excess rods, which we're already getting some, go here. And that's for the time being, reduce red metal bits. 
Now we want the same here. So in this one, I just throw that there. Another 5,000. So I'll go there first. And should come back this way once that's full. So there, in essence, was the original blaze rod loop with uh, improvements from the original. One thing different is here I had, or I eventually had about 20 generators being fed after the fact. But this is just a simple version, just a simple demo to show you guys. Now to do the compact, compact version. Let me just save a little bit on the noise. Now with the combat, compact, if I can only speak English, it's a lot smaller. I actually, I think the new one I've built is actually smaller than the power flower arrangement for energy, energy collectors. So again, we start with our blaze rods. Let's grab some from here. Two, three, four, five. Oops, did that backwards. Okay. Now we want the filter right there. And again, facing out. Then we want the other filter right on top. Oops. Okay, let's try this a third time. There we go. Ooh, excuse me. All right, let's get our redstone. And I want to use redstone uh, tubing this time. Might not need it, but just in case. So we want our macerator right there. But, actually, oops, ah, pushing on the wrong buttons. Actually, we want it facing this way. Again, because... Nope, we want it facing this way. There we go. Sorry, each time I have to go over this again and again. I think I would learn by now. So we want to feed the top like we always do. So we want to cover up all these spots. Get my tubing out. And there we go. So now I'm feeding the top. And again, the reason I did that is it feeds out the left this is going to pull out the dust. Let me get a stack of 64. Place that there. All right. Now we need the generator. We want it right there. Now with the generator, we have to feed the bottom. So that means we get this out. and make a giant mess. So with the this is where the covers come in handy. We block it there. All right, oops. We can leave that there if we want, but uh, not necessary. That was just an accident. Put that there, and so now we're feeding the bottom. Throw one there. And we continue over here so all excess rods go back into the chest. Again, throw in a stack here. This is getting power. Throw some junk in the bottom. Now, what we want to do here, and we can just click that there because that's an out, so it shouldn't feed back into itself. Quote, unquote, shouldn't. And let's throw another restriction tube. Where are you? There we go. Right here. And then our chest right here. So, now let's follow the path. Pull out the rod here. Goes up, fills the macerator first. Goes under here, feeds the generator next. Then, thirdly, feeds back into the main chest. Once this is full, all excess matter goes back into here. So with this, we just use one timer. Oops, didn't mean to delete that, but it works. 
We can just use one timer set for two seconds. Again, this one's mainly for when uh, you already have the excess material. That's a more of a starter one when you're in the real world and you can't don't have the materials yet. Oh, see, it pulls too fast. And we're, again, let me re reiterate: the reason I do the delayed one is if it pulls out stacks of 64, it usually is quicker than it can replenish itself, and then you lose the uh, access to the loop as I get hit by a sheep who's dancing on our timer. I guess he likes the beat. <laughs> Anywho, that uh, animal dancing aside, as you can see, our loop's working as it should. Now just to simulate what happens when it gets full. Should be getting our full first stack here soon. Uh, hold on. There we go. Got to be careful with this. Should be a couple more ticks. And then also I'll show you what I'm doing over there. All right. Goes down. Help out, I only ruin things. Alright, now it's full. So now, as we can see, all excess, since that's full, is going there. When this kicks out, it's extra. Again, quotation, should. There we go. Go through there. Now one thing I could do to fix that is put some more restrictions over here, but then it just gets complicated. So if I throw this in here, now we're producing red matter. With this new one, I really the new the difference between this and the old version is I don't have to extend that anymore with this restriction plate, a restriction tube. So, anywho, so that's just a simplified demo. And over here was some experiments I was doing. Here's the same thing as over there. You know, this one's maxed out. Oop. Oh. Aha. See, messed up on this one. Didn't put that extra one like I did on the other one. There we go. So now this one's maxed out. With uh, the mo the fa apparently the way these overclockers work, eight is the max. Past that, you're just wasting materials. So there you go. So this one's working as fast as it could in this compact form. Uh, this one right here was an experiment which didn't really work all that well. I'm trying a double barrel. So I'm having two macerators, one generator, and one condenser in back. It means working fine enough. It's just not as fast as I thought it'd be. And you guys see the reason is the blade rods just bounce back and forth between uh, macerators. So it's not as clean as this one. And over here, uh, was it? I played in a world uh, uh, server that re uh, didn't allow filters, so I had to mm, do one with the old pipe system, old transportation pipes rather than uh, numeric tubes. So on this one, my main difference is these, uh, as you see there, uh, valves that catch any excess material. Now with these obsidian tubes, let me just show you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Simple glass. That's pretty much designed for any of these pipes, is uh, the material surrounding glass. Uh, as long as they fall on them, they don't need a source. 
This one over here, since it's pulling from the block in front of it, it needs a power source. The reason I did that is, as it feeds this, it tends to um, drop. So it pulls, only needs one, it pulls two, and the excess goes down. Same here. See, it pops up occasionally. But since of its location, I can't really just plop down a pipe. It just connects, gets messy. So on that one, it's not a perfect system like the numeric tubes. I mean, as you can see, this one over here was full, and it knew to stop piping. So now we're up and running at full capacity. So, just a quick demo. Oh, also, uh, these are, uh, what's the name of these? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Distribution. Now the key with this is it allows you to decide how many per color. Since I get five, I'm sending four towards the tube, one towards the excess. And again, if that fills up and it falls, it goes through the sitting and back around in the loop. So, so this is a far less efficient model than these two. So anyway, just a quick video to respond to some posts on comments, just to give you a proper demo uh, of how to build these compact uh, blaze rods, infinity loops. So. Uh, that should be it for now. Uh, hopefully I'll be back with a couple more videos working on Yog Ventures and also making a proper cow cannon. So we'll have to see. Uh, until next time, thanks again for watching and see you later.